not going anywhere, you hear? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. What seems to be the problem? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Take care. Pancake mix now requires no mixing. Seriously, don't mix it. Seem down. Uh, board patrol nicked a friend of mine. Accused her of piracy. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. One of the cleanest folk I know. She found a.
Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Sure you are. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. At least one system on Groundbreaker still works. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings, but there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Thank you. I work hard to keep it that way. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Have you given your auntie a hug today? This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. Somebody was trying to fix this up. Who was that? Who was that? Oh, fuck! Someone's hunting us! Hey, whoever did this...
Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, 
I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? on Jesse? Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Who the? Semic Red, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get her, boys!
Oh shit. Wake up. There's no such thing as
Huh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. The Gred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Ah, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but... You know how it is, you meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam! Junlei sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Ma'am, I, I don't mean to be a bother, but what's Miss Chief Junlei like? If you don't mind me asking, I mean... Maybe ask her yourself. It's been fun, but I should probably get back to a deck where I'm not hallucinating about worms all the time. You know how it is. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. That was quick. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes' backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't much else in the offing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. This is House X at 411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Concerned citizens often ask why there aren't enough new faces in the house in We all want new neighbors from now. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Force of habit, I guess. Um, okay. 
since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Then you know it's a den of criminals and miscreants. Unfortunately, I'll need to ask you to return. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. This is Halcyon News. We...